Here's Little Miss Hug. Uh, Mr. Ben Boop reading 116, I think. Have you ever fallen over and hurt yourself? I bet you have. And then you have, have you wished that someone would come along and give you a hug, make you feel better? Well, Little Miss Hug is just that person, like the time she found Little Miss Tiny after she had fallen off the curb. But there is something else extra special about Little Miss Hug's hugs. It is her extra special arms. They fit perfectly around whoever she is hugging, whether it is Mr. Small after a twig fell on him and squashed his hat, or Mr. Bump after one of his bumps, or even Mr. Greedy when he has a tummy ache. Little Miss Hug is always there with a perfectly fitting hug to make everything better. But then there are times when nobody has hurt themselves. Happy times at birthdays. Everyone wants a birthday hug. <laughs> and sometimes when she hugs just for the fun of it. Even the likes of Little Miss Bossy hug once in a while. And so everyone needs a hug. And so Little Miss Splendid thought. Or so Little Miss Hug thought. Because the other day when she was out for a walk. She heard someone hidden on the other side of a hedge. Someone huffing and puffing and moaning and groaning. Someone who was in a very bad temper. Mr Grumpy. And why was Mr Grumpy in such a bad mood? Because the sun was out. There really is no pleasing Mr Grumpy. And quick as a flash, Little Miss Hug ran round the hedge, stretched out her arms and hugged Mr Grumpy. Or at least she tried to. Because something happened that had never happened to Little Miss Hug before. Mr Grumpy pushed her away. Get off me, shouted Mr Grumpy. Little Miss Hug could not believe her eyes, and she could not believe her ears. Nobody had ever refused one of her hugs before. But, but everyone likes a hug, she cried. She was so confused that she hugged Mr Grumpy again. I know what you're trying to do, Mr Grumpy, but it won't work. I am grumpy and I like being grumpy, and no amount of hugging will change that. But Little Miss Hug didn't let go. I said, began Mr Grumpy, but then he stopped. Something was happening to Mr Grumpy that had never happened to him before. He could feel a strange, warm feeling spreading out from deep inside him. Little Miss Hug hugged him tighter. And then the most extraordinary thing happened. Very slowly, Mr Grumpy smiled. For the first time in his life, he was happy. And Little Miss Hug let go of him. I must say, said Mr Little Miss Hug, you have a lovely smile. And can you guess what Mr Grumpy did next? He blushed! For the first time in his life, he blushed. And then he hugged Little Miss Hug. For the first time in his life, he hugged someone. Although, as you can see, it was almost a hug. Not a proper Little Miss Hug hug. What you might call... Half a hug. A Mr Grumpy hug. <laughs>